Wait, the Modern Warfare 2 beta is still in development? Oh, dude, let's try playing it. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Merc Music, and since we can't play the Modern Warfare 2 beta right now, and I don't care about whatever is happening in Vanguard or Warzone, I'm gonna show you guys something way better. This was actually something that kind of happened during the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I didn't really get to cover it because I was too busy streaming and making other kinds of videos. But today, I want to show you guys some never-before-seen leaked guns from the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I'm pretty sure the full game. This right here is the Twitter account that kind of has all of this information. They were putting out tweets, but they also have pictures and videos of never-before-seen guns on Modern Warfare 2. So without further ado, let's check them out. I am gonna start with this person's latest tweet so you can see the newest stuff first and then we're gonna go back because there was still a lot of stuff that I haven't covered yet. So apparently there's a lot of different variants of the AK coming to Modern Warfare 2 2022. I'm guessing these are the in-game names. We have the Cast Off 545 which is an AK-105, the Cast Off 762 which is an AK-103, the Cast Off 74U which we actually did get to use in the beta, and then the RPK which is an LMG variant. Now I don't know if these are in-game pictures or if they're just from Google. I mean I could do some reverse searching but I don't even think it really matters. But I'm guessing this is the AK-105. The next one's the AK-103. This is a picture of a Bison, so I'm not exactly sure what this is doing here, but this is obviously the AK-74U. Oh, maybe it's because it says that the cast-off platform also leads to the K-Block and Siklov 9 SMG, which I'm guessing is the Bison right here. For the time being, let's not focus too much on the pictures because I think these could just be from Google, but these actually are leaked weapons that are going to be in the game. Next up, we have a shotgun. It's called the Bryson 800. It is a pump action based on the Mossberg 590A1 Magpul, saying that this is the third shotgun of the game and this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, is that part of the shotgun broken? But yeah, definitely excited to see a pump shot in the game. I personally find those to be the most satisfying and fun to use, so yeah. Next up, it says you wanted it, you got it. I'm pretty sure this here is the Honey Badger from Ghosts. Pretty nice to see that coming back, not gonna lie. This next one might be kind of concerning, but apparently Dragon Breath Ammo is returning for shotguns in Modern Warfare 2. So yeah, safe to say that shipment is once again gonna be full of this. Can't wait for that, can we? But if fire round shotguns aren't your thing, we do have the SPR coming back. It says that it's going to have a visually more modern take, which I think we can all agree on. We did see that in the Modern Warfare 2 beta with some other guns. I think a prime example of that was the Logwood MK2. It looked like a really nice refined version of the MK2 for Modern Warfare 2019. In this game, it's going to be showing up as a bolt action marksman rifle with iron sights as default. This is essentially what it's going to look like. I don't know if this is an in-game image, but yeah, let's keep going. This is what I cannot wait for, the MCPR 300. It's a 338 Lapua Magnum sniper rifle. This is the picture. I hope I'm not getting this wrong, but this to me is the MSR from Modern Warfare 3. It looks sick. I've kind of got a feeling that this is going to be like everyone's go-to default sniper rifle. I hope this thing slaps. We got a little taste of this sniper in like a teaser trailer that we got from Modern Warfare 2. I'm pretty sure the dude with the ghillie suit was holding this sniper. So yeah, I'm hyped. I can't wait to use this thing. Next up, we have a tweet that covers the SCAR platform, and he's saying here that it's going to have multiple variants, including a sniper and marksman variant of the TAC-56. So in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, if you hit level 30, you got access to the TAC-56, which is basically the new SCAR in the game. And it was pretty good as an assault rifle, but it turns out that you'll also be able to turn it into like what I'm guessing is going to be a semi-automatic marksman rifle, but then also a sniper too. Let me just download this real quick. I want to do a reverse image search to see if it pulls up anything. No, search the whole image, you dingus. No search results. Google is failing at the reverse image search, so yeah. Let's just keep going. This next one's kind of quick, but the MK14 is apparently going to be coming back in the game. It's not necessarily a gun I care that much about. It should be pretty decent, and I do want to know if you'll be able to turn it into like a sniper variant or if there's anything else that you'll be able to do with it. Next up, we have a picture of an AUG, but the account is saying that it's going to be an SMG, assault rifle, and LMG. And I probably should have mentioned this for the SCAR as well, but if you guys aren't familiar with how the attachments work in the game or how the receivers work, essentially the way that you can unlock and get access to different types of guns in Modern Warfare 2 is you have to use different receivers and level those up, and that gets you specific attachments and new guns. Infinity Ward did kind of like a weird job explaining this, but it's actually pretty simple once you're on the game and you're playing it. Modern Warfare 2 beta is over, now back to reality. This is not my reality, nope. Yeah, Rip Vanguard is coming soon. Don't you guys worry. Okay, so this is where we're getting into the actual gameplay territory. I still don't even know how this was possible, but people were somehow able to get access to guns that were not even available in the beta. This right here is our first clip. We have some footage of the RPG. We're gonna check it out. You kind of like aim it at an angle. I don't know why the audio is so badly just de desynced, but... Whew, that is loud, dude. Here we, we got the inspection now. It's looking pretty good. Pretty sure the RPG is going to be just as good as Modern Warfare 2019. Right now, they're saying this is the SA-700 bolt-action sniper rifle in the game. At this point, I don't know if that's the name for the SPR that we just looked at earlier or if this is a completely different gun, but yeah. Maybe this is it because he's saying another sniper rifle similar to the SPR-208 has been discovered. Next up, we have some actual footage of the Desert Eagle in Modern Warfare 2. Check it out. Looks like it's going to be just as strong as Modern Warfare 2019. Got some different reloads. 
This is the inspection. Dude, the inspection is so sick the way he flips the mag out, dude. I cannot wait to use the Deagle in this game, especially because the pistols in the beta were so terrible, except for the Bruin 45, but we weren't even supposed to have that pistol in the first place. That thing was nasty for the headshots, though. Next up, we have some gameplay of the AK-47. Check it out. Oh, that's so loud. I'm gonna go deaf. So this is the empty reload. Looks pretty nice. Partial reload, and then we're gonna have an inspection, I'm pretty sure. What is this map, by the way? Was this... Oh, maybe this was museum. Like, the end part of museum. That was pretty sick, though. I don't understand how people were able to load up into private match and get access to these guns. But next up, we have the PP Bison. I think we're also on museum. It's got a lot of ammo. It's gonna be a beast. You already know it's gonna be a beast in the full game. So that's the empty reload. It's missing the reload sounds, though. I don't know why, but this is the inspection. Oh, <laughs> no, he actually just... Oh, my! I love this. The inspections, the attention to detail in this game. Oh, my. Wow. Dude, that is a long inspection. That was sick as fuck. Next up, we have the MP7 right here. It's already sounding pretty good. Different reloads. Inspection coming up right now. Yeah. Anything fancy? Not, not as fancy as the PP Bison, but still pretty nice. Kind of held it for a couple extra seconds at the end. I mean, the attention to detail in this game is insane. But yeah, I actually read this list on stream when I was talking about the new guns that were going to be in Modern Warfare 2. The Castoff 556, Castoff 772, the K Blocks, Siklov 9, the Bryson 800 shotgun, the Raw MG from Modern Warfare 2019. That was one of the later DLC guns. The RPK, the RPG 7, the LMP, which is the MP7, the TAC 56, which we actually know about. We were able to actually use the SCAR, the Lockwood 7. 25, which is the 725 shotgun from Modern Warfare 2019, the Desert Eagle, which we just saw, and then the Barrett MRAD. And if I'm not mistaken, as we scroll down, we should actually be able to see some footage of those guns. Okay, so first up, we have the RPK. This is an LMG. I'm definitely lowering the volume for you guys, but I'm gonna be going deaf. That thing is loud. This is the empty reload, though. Pretty slow. Not bad for, at least compared to some of the other uh, LMGs. All right, what do we got? Here's the actual inspection. This should be a long inspection because it's an LMG. <laughs> Wait, oh. It's weird how there's not sounds. Maybe this is why we weren't able to actually like use and see these guns. Oh, oh here we go. We have the Barrett MRAD. I was really hoping we were going to have a bolt action sniper in the beta, but I guess we'll just be even more excited to play the full game then. So we can actually use something like this. I mean, it looks amazing. Got the empty reload coming up. There we go. It looks insane. Ten rounds, too. I don't know if this sniper actually has different attachments or not. Or if this is just, like, ten rounds by default. It's gonna be a beast, though. Here's the inspection. It's looking nice. Might look familiar from the thumbnail I had before. <laughs> Wait, oh, just switched to the M4. Okay. Oh, it's the AX-50. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Like, in-game right now, it's called the AX-50, but it's also being referred to as the Barrett MRAD. I mean, maybe that's the real-life name. I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments, because I always get it wrong. But yeah, next up, we have the Raw MG in Modern Warfare 2. Kind of looks just like it in Modern Warfare 2019. I'm going deaf. Oh, my God. <laughs> the train gun. Train go boom LMG. So loud. Such a beast. This thing was really good. Interesting that they're, they're like, just bringing it right back in Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, this is, uh, the partial reload. Man, that is slow. We got the inspection coming up. Kind of quick for an LMG, but, I mean, it's an LMG, so who cares? Oh, here we go. We got the 725. I'm sure you guys were really looking forward to this. It actually looks a lot like the Olympia from Black Ops 1, like, the detail on the gun. Looks really clean, like actually really nice. The sound is terrifying. We're gonna have to see if it's just as strong as Modern Warfare. Ooh, I like that. I'm getting a really nice inspection before you piss everyone off. <laughs> this is apparently it in game, but it says Welcome to Modern Warfare, so... This is apparently another image of the Raw MG in the game. Some early bolt-action sniper gameplay. This is the Barrett MRAD or AX-50 that we just saw earlier. Yeah, obviously this is the Bruin 45. I mean, I was already using this pistol, so we already know about this. I think we're pretty caught up. I think we've seen everything. And real quick, I did want to give you guys an update about cheating in Modern Warfare 2. We actually got some pretty good news. Charlie Intel ended up tweeting this. It says that Activision continues to pursue its lawsuit against engine owning. With latest filings, I 
identifying names of the owners of the company and asking the courts to require engine owning to seize operations and give all money earned on cheat sales to Activision. Oh, get fucked! Oh, here it is. <laughs> the defendant's name is, quote, Big Pile of Poop, an individual residing in Europe who is apparently an admin of the engine owning Discord, and Big Pile of Poop is responsible for the cheating on the Modern Warfare 2 beta. My last video was my honest review of the Modern Warfare 2 beta, and this section of the video was my favorite. I know that the video was long and that not everyone might have seen that, but I want to play it again because I really do hate the hackers and cheaters. Next up, let's talk about people cheating in the beta. Yes. You heard that correctly. There was actually a mod menu that was being sold. You had to buy it and pay a subscription service to cheat in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Virgins. Infinity Ward said that they were already banning players in the second weekend though, and Karina literally reported someone who was cheating and they actually got banned. She was given an in-game notification that said that the reported player got banned. So that being said though, I think that Infinity Ward and Activision need to go a lot harder on the cheaters and hackers this time around. I don't care if it's a mod menu, Cronus Max, whatever. These people need to get permanently banned off of every single Call of Duty game in the existence of the humanity of the planet of the universe for life, with no chance of coming back. Fuck them! These gremlins ruin the game for everyone else. They're selfish little assholes who have fun at the expense and misery of people who just want to play and enjoy the game in a legitimate way. And I don't want to see or hear shit about hackers for the next two years. Do what Rockstar is doing, get the FBI involved, sue them into oblivion, send them to jail, send them to the gulag, send them to the fucking Waffle House. I don't give a fuck anymore. Keep cheaters off of this game. So now that you've seen that or possibly seen it again, I think you guys know how I feel about the cheaters and the hackers and this news right here is actually just so nice to hear. Overall, I really did enjoy the Modern Warfare 2 beta and I can't wait to play the full game, but I don't want to have to play it against cheaters and hackers. So yeah, I figured I'd share this news with you guys because to me at least, it's some pretty good news. And even though this is totally random and has nothing to do with Modern Warfare 2, Polyphia and Steve I ended up collabing on a pretty fucking awesome music video. I don't know if I actually have top comment or not, but this video is pretty legendary. It's number five on trending right now and I definitely recommend checking it out, man. This this song is sick. But aside from that news, what do you guys think about the leaked guns in Modern Warfare 2 and which one are you looking forward to using the most? I know that I definitely cannot wait to use a bolt action sniper rifle in Modern Warfare 2, but at the same time, I'm really curious to see how the 725 is going to be. If it's good again this year, then the memes will be strong. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me react to the leaked guns on Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more Modern Warfare 2 stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you, find the corner crash too. Oh my god, I just got it. <laughs>